Hi and welcome. My name is Molly Quinn. I'm with the Fayetteville Public Library Youth and Teen Services and this video is part of our summer reading lineup. Summer reading signups are now available using the app Read Squared and we'd love to have you read along with us this summer. So please consider signing up. This video is called Teens Create and it's part of our summer reading uh, sign up. If you would like to see more of this series or um, if you would like to see some of our other series that we have available, be sure to uh, either follow us on Facebook or Instagram or uh, check out our calendar at faylib.org slash calendar. In today's Teens Create, we are going to create a, a sun catcher made out of glue. It's kind of like a stained glass window, only instead of using glass, you're using glue, and it's really, really fun. What you will need for this Teens Create, um, it's pretty simple. You'll need some, uh, some cling wrap. Um, you'll also need a hot glue gun. And you'll need some colored glue. Um, the stuff that you, you might use for slime and that kind of stuff. Those are the three things you'll need, so, and it's a pretty fun activity. So let's get started. The first step is figuring out what you want your glue sun catcher to look like. This could be a simple shape, like a heart, or you could draw a person or animal. I decided that I wanted to make mine literary inspired. I love the book, The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exupéry. This book is a book everyone should read at least three times in their life, when they're a child, when they're a young adult, and when they're an older adult. The Little Prince is really wonderfully illustrated and it made for a really nice reference point for my sun catcher. I decided to trace this particular image out of the book onto a piece of paper. If you have ever read the book, then you know what this image is. And if you haven't read the book, I won't spoil it for you since it is fun to read this part on your own. But I will encourage you to check out the copy that we have at the Fayetteville Public Library. I chose this particular image because it was really nice and easy lines. I found that creating something with a lot of details is kind of hard, and the simpler the image is, the better it works. I covered that paper with some cling wrap. Um, now, using the hot glue gun, I traced the image. You'll want to let the hot glue mold dry for about 30 seconds to a minute before you do anything else. You might need to get rid of those little strings that hot glue creates sometimes. I did this using a knife. Now you'll pour some colored glue into the mold you just made. I'm using Elmer's colored glue and I have found that it is the best. Now it is time to let it dry, and this is the hardest part. It will take at least 24 hours to do this. Make sure you put it in a safe place when you are waiting for it to dry. When I first made mine, my cat totally destroyed it. Once you've waited that long, carefully peel off the cling wrap and voila! You have a sun catcher. Just add string and you can hang it in your window. Now, I experimented quite a lot with this Teens Create. Some materials don't let the glue dry as fast. For instance, I tried making my sun catcher on some plexiglass, and it took almost five days for it to dry. I also tried it with parchment paper instead of cling wrap, and while it did let the glue dry quickly, it only took about a day, some of the paper stuck on the back of the sun catcher. I don't think it looks too bad, but these definitely weren't as good as the ones without the paper. As far as I can tell, the cling wrap is the best because it dries the quickest and it doesn't stick to the bottom of the sunset catcher. But maybe you'll be able to find an even better way to make these sun catchers. Let me know. I hope that you enjoyed making this uh, Teens Create. I know that I did. I had a lot of fun. Um, please follow us on Instagram or Facebook for more content every single day. And thank you for signing up for summer reading. And until next time, I'll see ya.